Hello and welcome to the Iceman channel. Today we're going to have a quick look at the Chameleon Ultra. So let's get started. What we do need is scale. And for comparison, let's bring out the popular Clipper Zero. This is a Proxmark. This is a prison phone. That works actually. This is the Chameleon Tiny Professional. And this little baby is the Chameleon Ultra. Same size. Let's take these ones away because we don't need them anymore. It's all there. Best thing to compare it with uh, is actually with the previous version or generation of things. If you compare it with Flipper, it's, I mean, it does so much more and you only need the Flipper. And if you compare it with a um, Chameleon, you will always, you know, you program it with a phone or the computer. So you always have a phone with you, but you always have that anyway, so it doesn't matter. Well, if compared with this one here, with the Chameleon Tiny, and I understand why it comes in this nice little pouch because of the epoxy on the top of it. It needs some protection. On my old one here that has been laying in a drawer for years, uh, it still gets scratches onto it and gets a bit dull. Uh, kind of a dull luck look on it. I don't know if you can, maybe you don't see that. And this one is still clear because it's brand new. And this Chameleon Ultra is the purple one that's been given out to some people now previously. Uh, the Kickstarter is finished and sending out the first batch apparently and it's going to be sold on DEF CON as well. Now the artwork is as pristine and beautiful as the previous one. Uh, Proxgrind makes the most beautiful piece of bees. Look at this. It's just pure, pure joy to look at it. It's very, very small as well. That's why we did the scale thing. So the old Tiny is only doing HF while the new one is doing low frequency and high frequency. So the whole thing with a chameleon is that it's good to simulate. It has eight slots for different cards and technologies, then in this case, it has a little field detector and it's all the modern USB-C. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. For that, I would need something. I would need a Beautiful little kit. This kit here comes from Nick or uh, TCP Reset. And if you take, oh, let's go with the, uh, let's go with Ultra. If I take that one and present it to the reader, you get the starting LED show, you get the flashing. Uh, Field detection and the reader reads it. It starts automatically. So if you turn it off as well, you also get this nice exit LED show. It's kind of fancy in that sense. So present it, starts up, done. And if I go for the other one, the tiny, there's something I need to know is the field detector goes off much, much, much faster. This is, you know, if we compare here, this one is like, yeah, yeah, this is like very different size wise. Um, this one doesn't go on because I have to press A in order to activate it. And now it does. I get a sneaky suspicion that there's completely different reading distance or simulation distances. Let's have a look. Let's see if we can measure that one. Take out my trustworthy little document for this, make it straight. This one here is made in centimeters, this scale here. So we take the brand new uh, Chameleon Ultra. And if you take notice down here, it will flash. It doesn't flash, that's the field detector in the LED show, so that's it. So I'm gonna take a look at, normally you would have like this, but you can't see it though, so let's see. I will turn a little bit. Eight centimeters, seven, Five, oh, turned on at four. And it flashes, you see that little flashy thingy there? And it beeps at three centimeters, all right? 
if I take this one and then tiny professional and do the same thing and the field detector goes off I don't know if you see that little flashing thing it goes off at eight centimeters and it beeps about five centimeters all right so that's a different let's do that again power on nope centimeters all right so that's the difference between three and five and what could that be depends on I don't know actually uh, it could be that this LF in here and uh, HF only in this one could be um, yeah I don't know well uh, it's handy it's small um, I never use the chameleon, or I don't use these chameleons normally. I uh, used once in my whole RFID hacking uh, time to you know, present it and do the reader attack to collect some nonces and crack the hardened key when I got back, and that was smooth. So this one is kind of disappearing, you know, this will disappear very easily when you do those attacks. So that's kind of nice. Uh, if I will, you know, I don't use a key C either, which do the LF simulation. I don't do that. I'm, I don't think I ever do replace this with my normal cards. Other functions with this one is it can do some readers. It can read a tag and stuff like that and clone it by holding it above it uh, or clone the UID at least. I don't think it does any kind of uh, attacks because it's in the power of the MCU on this one. It's not big enough. Yes, the NRF chip in this one for the Bluetooth, so and uh, all of this is open source, so that's some progress going on there. Uh, but I'm looking forward to see what the iOS app and Android app is going to look like, you know, so we can take full advantage of them. With that said, I'm heading back to me. I'm going to say that wraps up today's video. Um, it's interesting. Let me know in the comments what you think about yours if you have. And if you have one of those dev kits, just, you know, keep on having fun with it. Bye.